Have you come up with a plan to minimize getting the coronavirus and bringing it back home with your groceries? And what have you done to reduce your risk of you getting it or your family getting it from your grocery shopping? No worries, today we're gonna to do a video that explains how to clean your groceries and protect you and your loved ones as best you can from getting COVID-19 and other viruses. One of my viewers had asked me, how do I properly clean my groceries to not get COVID-19 when I'm at my house? I thought that was a great question and that's why I'm making a video today about it. So in the future, if anybody has any questions, leave me a comment and I'd be happy to make a video. Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Wagner. I'm a board certified emergency medicine physician and on my show, I answer your urgent medical questions and clear up myths about deadly diseases. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn your bell notifications on. That way you're notified when I post a new video. So the first thing you need to do is plan before you're going. Doing a little bit too much is better than doing less. Make sure you put a list together of everything that you need either on paper or on your phone. And make sure that you're planning to get a little bit more food than you would think to. That way you can spread out how often you need to go to the grocery store and delay it a little bit longer. Now, make sure if you have a household that you are sending the healthiest person to the store and avoid sending any extra people to the store to minimize the amount of people there. And this might be really obvious to most of you, but don't go if you're sick. If you have a cold or a cough or any of those simple signs, symptoms, you probably have something and you don't wanna give it to anybody else. Also, you can wear a mask. You can also wear gloves, but the masks and the gloves we will go over in another video. When you're at the grocery store, easiest thing to do is to pay with a credit card to minimize giving cash and a clean object. Make sure that you give as much distance as you can in general in every activity that you are doing at the grocery store, from picking out your groceries to standing in line to giving the cashier your money. Another thing that's really important is realizing that you shouldn't be touching things and putting them back on the shelves. Look at the product, don't touch it because your hands are dirty. You don't wanna share that with others if you are putting it back on the shelf. Also, something to be aware of, some areas in the United States have grocery delivery, so that could be another option to reduce your risk. Now, when you finish getting your groceries, make sure you put them in your trunk and hand sanitize when getting into your car. Now that you're at home, think of the idea that everything that you just bought is covered with a fine powder that you can't see. If you shake it out too rough, it'll go everywhere in the air. And also, you wanna clean off all that powder by wiping it down with a disinfectant or a spray. So the disinfectants or the sprays or the wipes, go onto the CDC website for their recommendations on what to use and check it out. Now, when you're at home, set out an area that you can think of as the hot zone versus the cold zone or the dirty zone versus the clean zone. Realizing you just walked into the house with your groceries, and put them in an area where it's dirty, your hands are dirty as well. But before we talk about this, know about the virus that we're dealing with. They've done studies to show that the virus lives in the air for about three hours, about four hours on copper material, about 24 hours on cardboard, two days on metal, and three days on plastic. So be aware, our grocery bags are plastic. So we'll talk about that in just a minute. Now remember, you can wear gloves or you could just use your hands. So if you're gonna use gloves, you can use the gloves that we have at the house for washing dishes or you can use medical gloves, but realize that these gloves, once you touch something, is going to be dirty. So don't touch the clean area with your dirty hands. You can use different type of products to clean your groceries. Today I'm going to use a disinfectant wipe that's actually safe for your hands. There are other ones out there, such as this one, that does recommend, the manufacturer recommends wearing gloves for to protect your own skin. I'm not gonna use these wipes today on the groceries. Now I've started with clean hands, I've disinfected them myself, I washed them. All right, now it's time to get your favorite disinfectant out and wipe down your groceries. I'm gonna use my yellow container, grabbing the disinfectant wipe and grabbing the groceries. I got my puff chips here, or what are they, the nutty puffs, and we're gonna clean out the outside of the bag because it's plastic. So we'll wipe it down, make sure everything is wet, and we're gonna place it down into the clean zone. And then we're gonna do this again for every product that we have that has a plastic outside, glass, or can. So we wipe down the outside, it's fully wet, now we place it down on the clean side. Now, 
We have other products that you have that come in boxes, pizza boxes, cookies, anything like that. The outside of the box could be contaminated, but on the inside, it's typically wrapped. So individually wrapped, things are fine. A box of cookies, they're also fine. So what easiest thing you could probably do is take them out of the box and separate them that way versus having to clean every single individual thing. So what we'll do now is take it out of the box. On cardboard, if it does have the COVID-19 on it, it could last up to 24 hours. So I'm being very vigilant not to touch the inside. The box is open now. What you can do is let them pour out. This is dirty, so we're gonna get rid of it. And those are clean. And then the other thing I would like to talk about, you can do any products. I had bought, I needed to get new face soap. Again, clean everything, even though it's soap. We're gonna clean the outside of it. And again, place it down in our clean zone. Something to talk about is produce. So produce is very porous. We have different vegetables, fruits, different things like that. Do not use soap and water on these because they might absorb the soap. What you can do is take them to your sink, wash them, then leave them to dry, place them inside the refrigerator or place them anywhere you need to place them and let them sit. But there's been anecdotal evidence and stories that people use white vinegar. So white vinegar can be used one part or one cup to four cups of water if you wanna soak it versus spraying. The, as I said, other people have been doing it. Leave a comment if you have been doing this and let me know how it works. Now, there are another thing you need to realize that the virus has been stable when frozen. So a lot of things we think if we freeze it, we'll kill it. Previous coronaviruses do not die or are not killed when they are frozen. So something to be aware of, especially when you get poultry or meats, you need to take them out of those containers safely like we have done and potentially put them in another container such as these and then put them in the freezer. When you're done cleaning all your groceries, you're left with a clean zone and the hot zone and you have dirty hands potentially. So you wanna take care of the dirty zone. You wanna either take the bags and throw them out if that's what you do or set them aside for three to four days away in the garage outside that way you know the virus is potentially dying especially since we know that it lasts for three days on plastic also when you go to throw different things out like the cardboard boxes uh, or the boxes that your food came in don't shove them down because when you shove them down things jump up into the air they aerosolize out and you don't want to do that you gently place them in also as an aside people had been asking about cardboard from amazon boxes and shipments and what to do with that since the virus could live hours to a day on uh, cardboard. So what I suggest to people is that you open it up just outside your house, realizing that your hands are now dirty, empty the product out, go wash your hands and then pick up the product that you need and leave the cardboard outside for a day and then take care of it. Now that you have taken care of all the dirty products, now go ahead and wash your hands with soap and water and go ahead and put away everything that's in your clean zone and make sure that you wipe down all the surfaces that were the dirty areas that you had previously had things on. Now, I used wipes. You can use whatever spray that you have. You can spray onto a towel and do the same thing. Just get it sopping wet like a, a wipe would be. Now, I want you all to remember that we do not need to hoard food or toilet paper. We're all in this together. Stay home as much as you can right now, please. We are still seeing new cases in the community pop up, which means people are still sharing with each other. So we need to be aware and more vigilant to stay home and reduce the spread of this virus. All right, that's been Disinfecting Groceries 101 with me, Dr. Wagner. I hope I answered some of the questions that you guys had in your minds about how to take care of your groceries. Now, if you have any comments about cleaning your groceries or if you've seen any unique things at the grocery stores please let me know and leave a comment also leave a comment below if you have any other medical questions that you want me to make a video about and as always please hit the subscribe button and turn your bell notifications on and also hit that like button thank you for watching and stay healthy my friends